Hey 3D Artist. Today we will explore in detail all the new features of NAG All Pro version 2.2. If you have missed watching our last video of the features of the previous versions of NAG All Pro, please check the link in the video description. For today's video, we will run the new version v2.2 over three libraries from 3D Sky, CG Mood, and Dimon Ziva. Each 3D library contains around 50 3D models. The three libraries are composed of uncompressed or pre-extracted files, and compressed or zipped files beside their related preview images. The compressed files vary in three different extensions of RAR, 7Z, and ZIP. Some of the files inside the 3D library are healthy, while others are damaged files. Those damaged files may be incompletely downloaded, or they may contain other compressed corrupted files, so they have extraction errors. Additionally, for healthy files, we have some files with two different versions of compression, but they share the same name of the original file, and have the same preview image as well. The mission is to organize all these files in the form of 3ds max file side by side with preview image. Let's open up Nagal and kickstart. First, let's browse to set our 3D library path. Then, in Nagal version 2.2, we added new folder creation options to help you decide to create or not to create sources, extensions, and trash folders. Textures folder is always created by default. Also, you are able to choose between three main ways to collect the maps. Let's check them in detail. The default option allows Nagal to cluster the maps in subfolders under the Textures folder. This option is suitable for 3D libraries containing maps with duplicated names, such as 3D Sky, CG Trader, 3DDD.ru, etc. The user is able to create or not to create the sources, extensions and trash folders. Now, let's choose the default option and apply it for 3D Sky library folder, and see what we get. Great! The 3D library organization is finished in less than one minute. Let's check the four folders contents. Here we can find the renamed files of any extensions other than .max or image-based extensions. Here, the sources folder includes a copied version of all the original 3D library data, which is sorted into three main subfolders, damaged, healthy, and preview subfolders. The third folder is the textures folder. It includes the original file textures clustered inside renamed folders, as per our selection to the default option. The last folder is the trash folder. It includes any other useless files that were found during data organization, like system files or so. In this section from a video, let's run Nagal software over a 3D library from Dimon Ziva. Let's play with folder creation options keeping the sources folder only and deleting the rest. Having 3D models with unique names, the option 1 for maps collection will be the best choice. Using option 1, Nagal doesn't cluster the maps in subfolders under the textures folder. 
This option is suitable for 3D libraries that contain maps with unique names, such as Design Connected, CG Axis, etc. The user is able to create or not to create the sources, extensions and trash folders. Now, it's the time to start Nagel software. Great! The process was finished in very few seconds. Let's explore the textures folder this time. All the textures are located together in one big textures folder. Each 3ds Max file has been renamed and located side by side to its related preview image. Last but not least, let's try to collect the maps of CG Mood using option 2. Using option 2, there is no textures folder created. Nagal clusters the maps in 3ds Max files of each 3D model in a renamed folder. This option is suitable for 3D libraries containing maps with duplicated names, such as 3D Sky, CG Trader, 3DDD.ru, etc. In CG Mood Library, the maps don't have unique names. Let's try to collect their maps using option 2. Let's try this time not to keep any of the sources, the extensions, and the trash folders. Now, it's the time to start Nagel software. Great! Let's explore the folder's contents. As shown here, Nagal clusters the maps in 3ds Max files of each 3D model in a renamed folder. There is no main textures folder created. And now, it's your turn. We invite you to download the template in the video description, design your personal workflow, and send it to sales at nagal.com. We will add it to our future versions agenda as a new maps collection option. That's all for today. Order your copy now from Agol website. See you in the next tutorial. Keep organized all the time.